Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In this video, we're going to be talking about French drains and their absorption capabilities. What we have going on on this job site is there's a depression right back here in the yard and both the next door neighbor and the back neighbor are at higher elevations. So all the water that comes from their home ends up settling here and resting against the corner of the house and in this low area in the backyard. Remember to give 811 a call before you do any excavation. That way they can come out and mark any utility lines that may be in the area. Another contributing source of water in this area is this PVC downspout drain. Now it was not ran very far. It was only ran maybe eight to 10 feet away from the house. So every time this downspout is running and that water is going through the drain, it's just coming out of the pop-up emitter and it's going back towards the house and settling around there and going into the depression that we're trying to drain out. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is tie that downspout into a solid line and that will run in the same trench that our French drain is gonna be running. So we will utilize the same trench for both pipes, but we will not combine that downspout with our French drain because we do not wanna contaminate our French drain. Now, when it comes to the absorption of a French drain, there's a lot of things that come into play with this. So it depends on the job site. It depends on the soil type. What kind of soil is it? Is it solid clay? Is it loamy soil? Is it sand? Is it sand and clay fine mixture? Is the soil hydrophobic? There's a lot of things that play a role in how quick a French drain is going to dry out an area. Now, what we like to do is we will run water in our trenches for a couple of reasons. One, we like to see how well that water flows through the trench and how well we have the pitch of our trench. And the other reason we like to do this too is because we will run the water in the trench and then we will go to lunch. When we come back from lunch, we like to see how quick did that soil absorb that water? Did it turn it to mud? Is it completely gone? Is the water still sitting in the trench? If it's still sitting in the trench, then we'll pump it out with a little utility pump but we run water in the trench for a few different reasons. So basically the rule of thumb with a French drain is for a one foot wide French drain, you're gonna get roughly three feet on either side of that drain that's going to work pretty efficiently at absorbing the water. So you're gonna get about six feet, a six foot wide area all the way down that French drain, however long it is. So that is pretty much the rule of thumb. Now, like I said, soil type does play a role in this. As you can see, this soil is actually, it's sand. It's a mixture of sand and peat. So it's loamy soil and it absorbs water pretty well. The problem is there is a depression in this area. It's a low point. So all the water wants to travel there. And then there is a clay pan underneath. So that is holding the water in the area. So the French drain will dry this up. Now, this particular job site, there's only water accumulating here from that downspout and from the neighbor in the back and the neighbor on the side. So this is gonna be a lot easier to dry up compared to let's say a house that's at the end of the block. They're the lowest house and they are literally taking on all the water from all the other houses that are up higher. In a situation like that, if you install a French drain because the ground is always saturated because there's always groundwater traveling through the ground subsurfacely, that drain is gonna be working nonstop 24 seven. It's gonna be a lot harder to dry up an area like that because it's just constantly taking in water. Now see on this job here, we actually added a couple of fingers in this low area here. And the reason we did this is because we knew that a lot of water accumulates here in a bowl. It's kind of like a, a, a detention pond there every time it rains. So that's why we added those additional fingers so that we could have a, a little bit more of a broader area to help bring that water into the drain and dry the area up. And then we also added a French drain going down the side of the house there to grab the water so it doesn't just sit up against the foundation in the corner of the house because it was causing settling on that corner. Now you can see we have two pipes in the trench. One pipe is gonna be for our downspout. That's a solid line. It's not a perforated pipe. 
The other pipe in the trench is the French drain pipe. That is a perforated pipe, and that's going to run all the way through. Now, these drains were taken to a sump pump basin, and that sump pump is going to be responsible for lifting the water up and pumping it out because we are in such a low area back here, we can't get this drain to be discharged by gravity. We just, it's impossible. We can't do it. So we have to use a pump. Now you can see we have our filter fabric that lines the trench and that's going to encapsulate both the stone and the pipe. And it's going to act as a soil separator. We do not want the dirt mixing back in with the stone and ultimately clogging all the voids in the stone and getting into our pipe, clogging the pipe. Now, the excess dirt from this job, we put it up against the house because we want to actually raise that ground up and slope it towards our French drain. That way, any residual water from the rain that lands along the side of the house will travel to our drain and be carried away. So we will utilize the dirt that comes out of our French drain to raise the other areas around it so that that water travels efficiently to our drain. All right, guys, well, that just about does it for this video. If you gained some knowledge from watching it, hit the thumbs up button. It really supports us. It supports the channel. And I'm going to go ahead and link a couple videos in the description below on how French drains work and different tests that we have performed. And if you need a French drain or a downspout drain, any kind of yard drainage in the Tampa Bay area, we can design corrugated systems, PVC systems, dual wall systems, so give us a call at 813-614-3456. Stormwater Drainage Solutions has you covered. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.